All right, welcome to Collie Biology. What we're going to do this afternoon is review for the Biology 112, the anatomy of the heart. First thing we want to notice is on the surface of the heart, we have some red and blue vessels. The red vessels are what we refer to as the coronary arteries. Coronary arteries. They run parallel to the cardiac veins. Blue are the cardiac veins. Red are the coronary arteries. At the top of the heart, we see some major vessels big giant red vessel that arches over the top of the heart, that's the aorta, aortic arch. Nice and red, oxygenated blood. We're sending that blood to all of the body cells and distributing that oxygen. We have a vessel that runs right in the middle of the heart that's coming from the right ventricle, that's the pulmonary artery pulmonary artery. Normally arteries are red. This is the one exception because we're on our way to the lungs and haven't picked up oxygen yet. The pulmonary artery is blue. It will eventually branch to right and left. We have two other very large blue vessels on the outside of the heart. Coming above the heart, carrying blood into the right atrium is the superior vena cava. And beneath the heart, coming into that same chamber from beneath the heart, is the inferior vena cava. Both the superior and inferior vena cava lead into the right atrium of the heart. When we get to the inside of the heart, we see the chambers. Right atrium, we're on the right hand side of the heart, going through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. What opens the tricuspid valve are the chordae tendinae and the chordae tendinae are pulled on by the papillary muscles. Blood flows from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. On the left hand side of the heart we have the left atrium traveling through the bicuspid valve into the left ventricle. One way we can identify the left side of the heart is that the muscle the myocardial muscle is significantly thicker on the left hand side of the heart. It's thicker because the left hand side of the heart is going to pump blood to all of the body cells and that's a harder task than the right side of the heart which just has to pump the blood back and forth to the lungs. From the left ventricle, nice thick chamber, we're going to squeeze blood upwards. That blood is going to go through this valve. This valve is the aortic valve or the aortic semilunar valve and blood flows from the aortic valve into that gorgeous red vessel we identified earlier as the aorta. The valve that leaves the right ventricle on its way to the lungs, we find that valve on the flip side of this model, that's the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary valve leaves the right ventricle, notice it's the thinner side of the heart, leaves the right ventricle and goes into this vessel which is the pulmonary artery. The tissue between the two ventricles, between the right ventricle and the left ventricle, is what we call the interventricular septum. Intraventricular septum. And that's our heart.